Hi everyone, Kelt here. Trying to figure out the photo, allegedly of Harry and Meghan and Archie at the 4th of July parade. There are some that think it's them, and there are others that think it's not. I've spent a few days really looking into this, and I have changed my mind a couple of times during that time. However, I think I've reached a conclusion. At one point, I even convinced myself that although the feet looked a lot smaller than Megan's, a lot shorter in length, and it could have been the angle, and although this person looked a lot smaller than Megan, or than Megan is at the moment, I thought maybe it's just what she's wearing, and there were even comparisons of the freckles on Harry's arm with the man in the photo, and they are different. I know that you can get new freckles, and old ones can fade, but the freckles were different, no doubt about it. But like most of you, I do have a life, and I didn't really want to be spending my time looking at photographs of Harry's arm, trying to work out his freckle pattern, you know? Does it really matter at the end of the day? They've been pretending to be in places where they've not been, and they have most certainly been photoshopping pictures in the past, so whether it's them or not, it really doesn't matter in the great scheme of things apart from the fact that they seem to be actively trying to take any attention away from anyone else, particularly the Cambridges, as the photo was put out after the lovely photos of Catherine and William, which was inevitable. So there was a random post from someone claiming to be near them in Wyoming. The story was told about a big tough guy who told them twice that he was saving seats for a family. And this person says something which made me think was rather odd. The fact that they thought it must be the royal family and then said it was very sarcastic thinking. Why would someone at a July the 4th parade in Wyoming automatically think that because the place is being saved that it would be for royalty, even sarcastically? I don't buy it. If it was in Montecito, maybe yes even if it was in LA, possibly, because of the knowledge that Harry and Meghan lived in the area. But Wyoming? No. Also, Harry has made it clear that he does not support America and its constitution, having previously criticised the First Amendment, calling it bonkers. What a completely bonkers statement to make when you have made the country your own home and are proceeding to try and make money out of it. That's bonkers. Anyway, moving on, this photo, which looks like Archie, some are saying that it's not Archie, the hair colour was odd, and there were different colours overlapping, and also that Megan would not even have Archie eating a lollipop. I don't know how they figure that one out, but the woman's hair was said to be a lot finer. So I was trying to rule out the impossible in the hopes of finding the truth. So in many ways, I came to the conclusion that it was possible that it was Meghan, Archie and Harry, but the freckles made it unlikely. The colour of Harry's hair made it unlikely. The way his hair grew at the back of his neck made it unlikely. The child's hair looked as if it was possibly the only thing that had been photoshopped with just a little extra red colour. And the watch didn't prove that it was Meghan. That sort of tank watch is easy to come by. The feet did not resemble Megan's at all, but again, I thought possibly the camera angle. And also, could she have lost that much weight since a UK visit? A picture of a woman whom some believe is the woman in the photo has made me completely change my mind. And I'm leaning more to it not being Harry and Megan and Archie in the photo. I think they are doubles. And I think that the woman could well be Bryn Gingras, who not only looks like Megan, her son looks exactly like Archie. She also has a watch like Megan's. Bryn is a New York City based correspondent and her resemblance to Megan is uncanny. Her little boy's resemblance to Archie is even more uncanny. Whether it's her or not, there are women who look very similar, especially from behind, and I think of the elephant photo, whereby the picture was not of Megan, but it is thought to be Tanya Lama. I'll put the link to that video in the description. Another reason which gave me doubts were the fact that they rarely go anywhere with their children. And why would they travel across to Wyoming for something which, 
in Megan's mind, would be very unglamorous because she was just mixing with the people, unlike the time when she was at Wimbledon, commandeering a whole section of seating for herself and her friend. Unlikely she would attend something like that, and Harry, as I said, would have no reason in his mind to celebrate the 4th of July, would he? So based on all that, and the fact that Megan never shows her face in these types of photos, leads me to believe that it's not her. In fact, I don't think it's Harry or Archie either, obviously. What do you think? Let me have your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please subscribe. Ding my bell for more alerts for more videos. Like if you liked it, and share. Bye.